the deal is this, that a network, um, a television network, mostly, always, does not um, create programming. The television networks are marketing and sale, a sales platform, marketing platform that sends out um, a signal. The deal is this, that um, up until 1993, um, companies could not own, like in terms of television, a company could not own prime time. There was an FCC rule called FinCEN that said that um, there could be no financial interest of a television network in the programming that they create. Great. So under that rule, there, were, there was a lot of activity among independent production companies that would go out and produce prime time, like the Cosby Show or what have you. Those were all independently owned. When FinCEN went away, um, companies like Time Warner, Viacom could own an interest in the television shows in prime time. So that, that kind of changed a lot of things that, uh, you know, kind of changed the way the entertainment business worked. But so networks now can, can own a piece of the shows, but most networks don't. Most networks still look to independent producers, independent production companies to bring them product. And the way the process normally works is this that the business is, is really um, cyclic and the television business is much more corporate than the music business and probably the film business. It's, it's all very um, tied to the calendar. And, and it's a very stimulating business because the film business, making a motion picture can go on forever. You, you could start a picture 20 years ago and just be finishing it now. But in television, you have, everything happens every year. So the deal is this, that um, starting in the summer, starting in June every year, um, scripts are ordered. The, the networks go out and look for um, new writers, scripts to put on the air, and that process goes on through June, July, August, into September, Scripts are bought. The, you might buy, a network might buy 50 scripts. Writers might come in and sell us 50 scripts. And then towards the end of um, the fall, um, pilots are ordered. That y the pilots, um, every network might buy eight, nine, 10, 15 pilots. The scripts are turned into pilots. And um, the pilots are made between the late winter and early spring. And um, the, the pilots are selected usually the last week of April, the first week of May, and leading towards an event in New York called the Upfront, when every television, that better? Yeah. When every television network presents their schedule to advertisers, and this goes back to when Detroit was a very powerful advertiser, because the new cars were coming out in September, the networks would want to present um, their shows. The fall launch of the television season was in September. So the upfront takes place in May. Advertising time, a portion of the network's advertising time is sold um, to the advertisers every May, leading to the fall launch. Um, then the shows, they start production during the summer. So every year in the network business, it's the same calendar, the same things happen, from buying scripts to pilots to making pilots to choosing which pilots are going to um, be turned into television series. And then the, the production starts in the summer, and then they go on in the fall. Some succeed, some don't. Um, but it's always the same. Now, the, the interesting thing is, in terms of economics, is that, as I said, networks do not typically own shows that are on, that they buy them from production companies. And it's a very interesting thing that happens with the production companies. Um, production companies um, own, own the copyrights in the shows, and they license the shows to the television network. And the way the economics might work are that a network might pay a million dollars to broadcast um, to broadcast an episode of a show. Um, and the trick is the show, although the network is paying a million dollars, the show might cost two or two and a half million dollars to make. So somebody's losing money during every hour that the show is on the network. So the network pays a license fee, the production company owns the show, producing it at a deficit. And the deficit, is such that you know 
we typically order 22 episodes of a series. Well, a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars are in the balance being lost uh, for every week the show is on. But what happens is that because the production company owns the copyright, they have the ability to go out and sell it internationally. They have the ability to sell it in syndication, so-called, which means selling it to independent stations. And as you know, a show like Seinfeld or Friends is going to be on for the rest of our lives. So even though, even, even though the show lost money when it was on the network run, when, when Seinfeld was on NBC, every week the production company was losing money. I think Castle Rock produced Seinfeld. Now, that show is probably worth billions of dollars because it's all over the world, every day, someplace right this minute, Seinfeld is on television, <laughs> prob probably a lot of places. So it's, it's, a real, it's a real interesting model of how um, the shows are made. Um, the production companies, um, the, way, the way the process works is that the production companies tend to hire the writers that are going to come and make the pitch. The, the production company comes into the network and presents a rough idea of the show to the network executives. The network executives then make a decision whether they like the idea or not. If the network wants to pick up the show, um, then an order is made, and typically an order for nine episodes is made at a time. So, so, or excuse me, 13 is made, so the, the network will order 13 with an option to buy nine more episodes for the remainder of the season. And as you know, a lot of shows fail, um, but the gamble of the production company is that they're going to create uh, properties that are going to endure, that they can sell um, for a long time to come.